We're studying marine mammals and we're trying to fi find out how they function underwater. These animals are very sensitive to changes in the environment and they're like sentinel species, so they're like the canary in the coal mine. And if we see changes in their population and in the numbers of animals, in how many calves they have per year, we can then understand something that's going on in the environment. My specific project is actually looking at their, their lung functions and being able to determine their metabolic rates based on oxygen consumptions and CO2 outputs. If we have altering distributions of fish based on global warming or overfishing or anything like that, we might be putting more strains on the dolphins um, that are causing them to alter their metabolic costs and that's really important to understand. It could possibly affect their populations or it could um, affect their distribution and we might start finding animals in areas where we hadn't found them before um, as they start to follow food sources. With, with the increasing population that utilize the Aransas Bay, especially in this area, there is going to be competition for, for space, for resources, for the fish, uh, for access to, to certain areas. The students that come to us, they get to go out and we do photo ID. We, um, we also do tracking of the animals. We're doing necropsies, so we're trying to understand. We're looking at the inside of the animals and trying to compare different species. And it's just preliminary work that we're doing with the students and trying to get a better understanding of where, where are these animals? What are, what are they doing at certain times of the year? How, how do they behave when they're close to boats? Not only can we teach the subject, but we can actually go out into the field and put the students right there with the animals, taking data, collecting data, coming back to the lab, analyzing it, and from there, you're creating much better scientists and much better researchers that can then go on to bigger and better things. It's just, it's really amazing to see students at such a young age being able to be exposed um, to these animals. They're a very charismatic species. They, I mean, they, they are very intelligent. They are in an environment that we generally don't spend a lot of time in and they can do a lot of things that we can't do um, and they just have this amazing personality.